What's up, YouTube? This is going to be your guide on how to use Tornadus and Therium form in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing competitive movesets and some fun me movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, put it below in the comment section of the video. If they help you out and you like them, drop a like on the video and let's get into it. So, we'll do the normal Tornadus first and then we'll have a look at the Therium form. So, Tornadus, probably the best things about it is its ability Prankster and its opportunities to use Tailwind a lot, being a great support Pokemon. So the first set I got here is fairly standard for Tornadus. This can work in doubles and singles. It's a great Tailwind setter. There are a couple of items that you can run for this, so I'll go through a few of them and some of the Terra types and such like that. So first things first, we'll have a look at its moves. So we've got Bleatwing Storm, which is a very nice move there, um, allowing it to hit both the opponents. Um, it does have a bit of a shaky accuracy of 80 though, so I would be encouraged, probably encouraged to use it in the rain um, with like a Pokemon, say like Pelipper, or you could even set up Rain Dance yourself. So I'll have a look at that alternative in a set. So on this one, I've got Tailwind. So these two moves you're going to see on it all the time. So it sets up Tailwind. This is good for um, allowing your team, even if they're like mid sort of speed, uh, to really uh, outspeed a lot of stuff um, and to, to support your uh, teammates, basically. And uh, you know, allow yourself to uh, do a little bit of damage with Bleatwing Storm and support your teammates. That's pretty much what this set is about. We've got Tauntius. You can shut down any annoying Pokemon, say like... Uh, Among Us from using Spore or Rage Power and stuff like that. And we've got Protect on there too. So that's just going to allow you to maybe uh, scout out any attacks and just help you out if you are on a little bit of health there. Your ally might be able to you know, faint said Pokemon. So I've got Citrus Bear on this, which is going to allow you to get a Tailwind up with this bulky defensive set and maybe get a couple of attacks off or swap out, wait for the Tailwind to go down and then you know, reset it up again. So the EVs that run this are very defensive. So we've got max health and max defense bold nature. Uh, let's put the last little bit into special defense. This is going to allow it to have a lot more physical attacks and it's also going to be good uh, for setting up multiple Tailwinds. So you can set the Tailwind up, do a bit of damage with Bleatwing Storm, swap it out or just you know leave it in there or stall a little bit protect and let your ally uh more of an offensive ally uh do some work or you can swap it out with say uh, an intimidate pokemon like incineroar to get some momentum uh drop the opponent's attacks and then bring it back in to set the tailwind up and you know rinse and repeat sort of like that um we've got terra type steel on this i find terra type steel isn't too bad as a defensive terror um for any like ice type moves uh, like poison and anything like that's going to be uh, quite good, especially like ice type moves um, that can at least resist it. Uh, electric is going to be neutral, which is going to be good, and rock is not going to be super effective either. So that's going to be nice, uh, a nice defensive terror. Um, there are a couple you can run. I personally really wouldn't terror this. There's going to be better Pokemon on your team to to terror than a support Pokemon. So. I wouldn't be tearing this at all. Um, that, that would be my opinion. Um, some other things you can run on this. If you don't want to run Taunter there, you could possibly run Rain Dance. That's another option. The good thing about running Rain Dance on there is you can set your own rain up, obviously, and you can get 100% accuracy on your Bleatwing Storm. So that means... Uh, it's going to land every single time, and it's going to be uh, super good, so I can't miss in the rain. Um, and it also has a 30% chance to lower the, uh, the, the, the foe's speed as well, which is another great thing. So a great sort of support Pokemon. Essentially, you could even put Damp Rock on there. So you could get that rain up, and then you could spam Bleatwing Storm. Or you could get the Tailwind up, and then set the rain up. Stuff like that. So that is an option. And you still sort of retain Protect on there at the same time. Or you could swap Protect out and give it uh, Taunt. Um, I like Protect on there, because it sort of saves you from using... Well, you, you can still use... Covert Cloak isn't a bad item as well. But it sort of saves that initial, like, maybe like a Fake Out and stuff like that. Like, and then you could... Um, don't have to worry about running uh, Covert Cloak because a lot of the time you'll be going first with Prankster anyway. So I only really like Covert Cloak for an initial sort of first turn. Um, but yeah, you could have Dant Rock on there. Uh, that's definitely going to be a good item for sure. Or a, a Citrus Berry. Uh, a Rocky Helmet wouldn't be too bad either. Just for some extra damage. I'm just trying to think of some like other items you could possibly run on there. That'd be the best ones I could think of. Um... Yeah. 
I mean, if you were say this is this is if you were to face another one, maybe mental herb. If you did get taunted, because then you'd only be able to use bleat wins. Also, mental herb could be another good idea that's going to prevent it. Um, gee, I, I I think that's a that's about it. That for like meta sort of uh, competitive items on it, that would be the best ones for this kind of build. Um, that would be my um, that would be my what I think about that. Uh, let's have a look at our second set here. We've got a similar set, but it's a little bit. It's definitely uh, more built around being offensive compared to a defensive set. Same kind of thing though. We have got Tailwind and Bleatwing Storm. There are two sort of main moves there. Um, I've got I put uh, Heatwave on it. That's another move you could possibly use on there if you're not. Of course, using uh, a, a rain uh, rain kind of set there. Um, I gave that protect too. That's another option. You could put taunt on there. Like same kind of things. Like the the uh, I'd say the offensive set and the defensive set can still run very similar. You could just swap the EVs around. Um, as for terrors, I've given this one. Let's give this one terror ghost. Like I mentioned, this thing works very nicely with like defensive terrors. Now the reason I put a ghost in there is because we're running sash on this. And quite commonly, uh, you've got Pokemon with priority moves. So at least if you've got, I'll do like a, just an example here. Say you get, um, you're down to Focus Ash, right? It's not an overly bulky Pokemon, especially if you're not running max health and max defense or you know, things like that. Say you're on one health, you want to get Tailwind up or get a Bleakwing Storm up. Say something like, I don't know, Dragonite comes in and uses extreme speed. You can at least get Terra Ghost off there and get the Tailwind up or an attacking move off. Or there's like a fighting move. Uh, you know, normal and fighting moves, at least it gets around uh, those, uh, especially with Sash, because there's a good chance you get around like one health. So that does prevent priority with that Terror. That's an option that you could possibly go for there. Um, you could, like I said, you could go uh, Terror f uh, Flying as well if you want to boost up the uh, power of Bleatwing Storm. But I don't know, like, I, I just, I think it's main, like, Tailwind is its main thing there and then start attacking. So I, I personally wouldn't do that. Um,. Another Terry you could run on there as well, since it is walled by steel. You could do Terra Blast fighting. Um, hear me out on this one, right? So at least then, if a, a Rock type move is aimed at you, it's, it's gonna you're gonna be able to hit Rock type Pokemon. You're gonna be able to hit Ice type Pokemon. You're gonna be able to hit Steel type Pokemon. So it's it's not all that bad. So and that way you can resist a few things as well that are uh, incoming. So that's another thing you could do: Terra Blast fighting. Uh, you could do Focus Blast, though. This is a little bit more risky, so it does get it, though. I just want to say it does get it, but I don't know. Like, that is very, very risky there. So maybe if you just want you know, to always land that, you could have Terra Blast. So that's a, that's another option there for a sweeping uh, style of set on uh, Tornadus. Um, now, I did make a meme set here. Uh, we got a physical set. Let's check this one out. And then there's one other set I want to discuss before we'll um, discuss some teammates and stuff like that. Actually, let's do... Yeah, we'll do this one first, and I'm going to discuss some teammates for uh, doubles and singles and stuff like that. So this is... De like, it does have 115 in attack, so it's a little bit less than it's uh, special. So we've got a weakness policy set here. This is possibly definitely going to work in singles a lot better. So we've got Jolly Nature, max speed, max attack. Acrobatics and weakness policy sort of uh, goes without saying there. I ran Defiant on this instead, so I could say if I got Intimidated, that would increase my uh, my attack stat, which would be good. You could even, if you wanted to run this in um, in doubles, you could even like try and cheese it with Adrenaline Orb and Defiant, so that could be cool. Uh, if you do get Intimidated, that would increase your speed by um, one stage, so you'd be super duper fast and you'd outspeed a lot of the really high threats like Flutter Main and things like that too, but obviously it's gimmicky, right? Uh, very, very gimmicky, so you could go ahead for Weakness Policy or Adrenaline Orb, that would be cool. Uh, we got Terror Blast fighting, kind of like what I gave the other one, Knock Off and Bulk Up. You could have um, Pranks to Bulk Up as well, that could work, but essentially you go for Bulk Up, that gives you more defensive bulk, you get hit by a super effective move, boom, Weakness Policy pops, and then you can go for Acrobatics or Terror Fighting, or you could do Terror Flying as well. Uh, that could be uh, another option. So sort of like a... I don't know, a, a, a Wish or Temu uh, Roaring Moon with Acrobatic. <laughs> so, uh, give it a go, right? Could be a fun set. Um, another set you could do here as well. I do want to mention this because I didn't mention it before. Um, it can possibly be a Nasty Plot Sweeper as well. So it does get pranks to Nasty Plot. And then you could put like, I don't know, let's, let's say, let's say Hurricane. Like, let's, I, I, this is like Hurricane for singles. 
In the rain or bleat wing storm for doubles. In the rain, yeah. So you got that going. And then I'd probably put something like, if you're not running rain, you could have heat wave on there. If you are running rain, you could put focus blast on there. That's an option too. And you've got sludge wave on there too. So you got a bit of spread. You actually got a pretty like you could essentially have like full on like us. Uh, you got like spread spread move there on all of them. So that that's actually kind of nice. Um, so you got like lots of lots of good damage there. And I'd probably pop on like life orb just for some like maximum damage output. Get that uh get that up in speed with Tim and Nature. And there's like a real like offensive set. I'm not saying it's going to be amazing, but after a nice spot, it will be hitting pretty hard. Um, the only thing is you might miss with Bleatwing Storm a lot if you don't have rain. If you got rain, you want to get rid of Heat Wave. Let's see what other options we've got for Heat Wave. There probably isn't too many. Um, you are heavily walled by steel here, so I'd be inclined to put Focus Blast on it. At least that gives you some coverage. That could work in singles, absolutely. Um, or a double. This is more of like a doubles one. Singles, I would adjust it. I would put Hurricane on there. Um, I, I know there's a little bit more extra base power, but run that in the rain if you're going to run Hurricane. And yeah, you could keep the same kind of thing. Or you could put... I mean, Sludge Bomb's weaker anyway. So yeah, I would keep that. So that's that's another option. You go Terra Flying, Terra Fighting... Terra Poison. I don't know. That could be something you could try there. But anyway, some more options for Tornadoes. Let's talk some teammates now. So some good teammates I would have on there. I don't know. Like, I was thinking Goldengo wouldn't be too bad. Uh, so this Pokemon isn't, like, overly fast when it's got 84 base speed. But we say this bulky sort of set here, Tailwind set. Pokemon like Goldengo can become a very big threat there. Um... You know, that 84, you're going to get like a double in speed there from Tailwind. And that can then support uh, the Tornadoes there. Like you could be good against Ice-type Pokemon, Rock-type Pokemon, Make It Rain, you know, stuff like that that's going to counter this Pokemon. So that's going to be a very, very good partner. I'd have to say it's a very top partner. Uh, you got Fluttermane, of course, as well. Uh, Incineroar is good. Incineroar would be pretty good too. I was just thinking like, Incineroar is very good on a lot of teams, but... Example, you've got like Parting Shot and Intimidate. You could use that with um, with this and then get Tailwinds up and then maybe conserve it and then swap it back in, get like an Intimidate, a stat drop, and then when it runs out, bring it back in and set the Tailwind up again. Get some chip damage of Bleak Wing Storm. That could work very, very nicely too. Just trying to think of some other, other good ones. Uh, even, I was thinking Landorus wouldn't be too... Uh, like such a bad partner too, like Landorus. That wouldn't be all bad for like electric type moves. That that could you have a bit of a problem with ice type though. But uh, in that sort of it gets its own like signature. Move. I've done a Landorus guide already, so I won't I won't like won't go into it. But it does get like the sands the uh, storm as well. But that's another option you could go for. Um, Raging Bolt wouldn't be too bad in terms of uh, synergy too. So you've got Raging Bolt. Now, once again, Raging Bolt doesn't have a lot of speed too. But after that Tailwind support, it won't have to rely on its uh, uh, signature priority move as much. So that could be another option if you wanted to. Um, Ursh I mean, Ursh is good on most double teams there. So you've got Rapid Strike. That would be very, very good. So you could you know, definitely outspeed opposing opposing types. Uh, it would be a good resist for water. Uh, sorry, for ice as well. And, uh, yeah, you could counter those Ice-type Pokemon, those Rock-type Pokemon. Things that are definitely going to uh, threaten the uh, Tornadus. You'd have to watch out for Electric, though. But, yeah, that's, that's just some options there. Uh, to shut this down, uh, to, to counter this Pokemon, um, I would say a good Taunt Pokemon would really mess this up if it wasn't carrying Mental Herp. Another is Dark-type Pokemon, too. They're going to be immune to... Like, Incineroar is going to be kind of good because it's going to be immune to... Any of its, um, like any of its, like, uh, status moves. And you've also got, um, you've also got Fake Out, too. So you could always break, uh, break it Sash or just stop it from attacking for a single turn. It's not very bulky at all. Uh, that, that's the thing about this Pokemon. It's not too bulky. So I would be hitting it. Most of the time it's run defensively. So I'd be hitting it hard on the special side. Even, you know, being a flying type Pokemon, it's not probably going to terror too much either. So it's weak to so many things like Ice, Rock, 
electric. So I don't think it's going to be super hard to counter. And it's really only, I'd say its main role most of the time is going to be setting up Tailwind and doing chip damage with Bleatwing Storm and supporting the team. That That's mostly what it's going to do a lot of the time. You won't see it as a pure, pure sweeper like that much in case something really uh, changes with it. So that would be my advice there. Let's now have a look at the uh, next form of it, the Ethereum form. And uh, this is a little bit different uh, in terms of you know, its its stats and stuff like that. It is quite um, it is quite different, but it does get regenerated. So we're going to make use of regenerator. So another good Pokemon like this would be Incineroar. Great Pokemon. So you've got like say Parting Shot, Intimidate, and you've got that sort of coupling with the regenerator, which is great. Um, I've got a couple of sets for this. So oh, this is my sweeping set. So we'll do this one first. So. Actually, no, let's do the Regenerator Tank set first. So we've got Max Health and Max Speed. I know that's sort of odd EVs, but this is really based around just supporting damage-wise, doing bits of chip damage, and then um, you turning out of there, getting some Regenerator back, uh, some health back, and then you know doing some more damage and some support. So dropping speed with Icy Wind, removing items, hitting the opponent, uh, both the opponents there, maybe getting a, you know, getting a speed drop there too, and then healing itself off, and then maybe working together with like an intimidate Pokemon and, and such like that. Um, that could work. This could work for doubles and singles. Um, now that you could potentially go get rid of its health and then go max special attack, but I found there wasn't a huge difference in base power. There wasn't actually that much, and it wasn't one shotting anything anyway. So that's why I felt it was better as a support Pokemon with this style of uh, set. Uh, you could completely drop at speed and go max health, max special attack. That could work too. It's still got pretty good speed. Or you could even adjust it to modest if you want some more damage output. That would have a lot more damage output. Um, and then you get regenerator back. But you'd be missing out a little bit on your speed. So you'd be taking a... You'd be, say... You'd be taking a hit and then... You're going to have to uh, swap out after that or use U-turn. So it might get worn down quickly, especially if you're running like singles and there's entry hazards like stealth rocks and such like that. You might want to, yeah, you might want to run heavy duty boots instead of vest on there. But that, that's more for singles. Um, let's have a look. Uh, I ran Terra Electric on this one as well because uh, that would at least only give it one weakness and you'd only be weak to ground type Pokemon then. At least you could hit them with Icy Wind or swap out. You know, that that's an option. And a ground type Pokemon wouldn't probably swap into a flying type straight away unless they had like coverage, like a rock type movement, you know, things like that. So we've got uh, the next set here is a Life Orb Sweeper. Uh, this, I, I feel like this could actually work decently. So we've got, we don't have Prank Solasi plot, but it's still got very good speed, 121 base speed, which is actually a lot more than normal uh, Tornadus. So we've got Team of Nature, Max Special Attack and Max Speed. And we've got Nasty Plot um, to boost its Special Attack. Now, the reason why this is not going to get as much usage as normal Tornadoes is simply because Prankster and Tailwind. That, that's literally the reason. Like that, That's it. So if it had Prankster, we could use it as Tailwind as well. But um, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't work like that. So um, it doesn't have that ability. It's only got Regenerator. Still a good ability, but um, I, I see this as better as an attacking Pokemon. Um, or a support style Pokemon too. Like you can do, I reckon it can do, uh, it can attack, uh, probably attacks more than just like purely supports like uh, the other Tornado Swarm. So uh, this one is Max Special Attack and Max Speed, Tim and Nature. We've got Nasty Plot. It's still going to outspeed a lot with that. Uh, Terror Blast Fighting for coverage, Bleak Wing Storm, or if you're running singles, you could run hur uh, Hurricane uh, for a little bit more base power. Um, and you've got Protect as well. So th this would be my double set here. Or if you really want that fat, like, damage with uh, fighting, you could put Focus Blast on there. But be be aware that you're going to miss a lot too. So I would have Terra Blast there. So you, um, at least you don't miss. And Life Orb for even more damage too. So if you're getting a little bit low on health, uh, you could even swap that out too um, with another support Pokemon. And then you could you could always attack again or reset up if you needed to. So that could definitely serve as a, uh, a, a reasonable nasty, a nasty plot, a bulky nasty plot. Uh, sweeping set will be regenerator and let's have a look at physical so you could have something running a physical too so we've got max attack and max speed now its attack is still 100 which is okay and we've got jolly nature this is more of a meme set so we've got an acrobatic set with this time we've got hammer arm for coverage against steel types and we've got white herb so white herb's going to get used up on 
that speed drop. And then we've got no items. So acrobatics is going to be double base power. U turn to get some regenerators off and to scout. And we've got knock off for a bit of coverage, moving items, such like that. And terror flying too. So terror flying acrobatics. So it's going to be like a, uh, a wish or Temu roaring moon. <laughs> so uh, you know, there, there you go. So another oh, fun little option that you could uh, possibly run on that. Uh, let's have a, a, a final look over what move Tornadus gets as well. And then we'll have a look at Theory. And so some last sort of minute uh, thoughts here. So we've got Agility. That's not really needed. It's got Prankster. It does get Bulk Up. It does get Nasty Plot Prankster. So if you, you can make it go first and get those boosts. But still, Tailwind, uh, Tailwind is going to be its... its it's, it's main thing there. So it's, it's a great support Pokemon. So you're going to see that most of the time. Uh, Tort, we've gone over that. It does get Rain Dance. So it, it gets all the... It gets like Rain Dance, Sandstorm, Snowscape, and Sunny Day. So you could have this as... Honestly, you could have this as like Tailwind. I'm not saying run all these moves, right? But you could have like Tailwind... It could set up anything, right? You could, you could make this set up anything. Like any one of these. I'm not saying run them all at the same time, but... This could be a perfect weather setter, really. And Tailwind weather setter. That could work too. If you're looking for a, a setting up Pokemon that's got an okay amount of bulk, not very good typing though for it, but that could absolutely work for sure. Setting up Tailwind and weather, they're fainting. Yeah, that could work. Um, let's have a look, a look again there, just if I missed anything. But it, it, it's pretty. It's a pretty close book uh, for normal tornadoes. It runs Tailwind. It goes uh, and you know sets that up and supports teammates. That's his, that's his main thing. Uh, for the special side, uh, it gets Bleatwick Storm. That's a great move for doubles. It does get a lot of different moves. I'll give it that. So I had this cool. Um, did I do? Did I show you my? Oh, I'll, I'll make you my like. This is like my sweeping set for doubles. I know it's not used completely as a sweeping set, but I'll, I'll show you what I would use for double. So we got Bleatwing Storm, Weather Ball. Um, I had Rain Dance on there as well. And I had Damp Rock. So I had that. And then I had... Oh, I think I had... I'm trying to think remember what I normally would run on there. I, had, I think I had Sludge Wave or Nasty Plot. Or Tailwind. You could have Tailwind or Nasty Plot on there. Let's say, for example, we don't want Tailwind. We want to try something. You could do Tailwind. I'm not saying you couldn't. Um, you could go for this. And Timid, Max Special Day. So this would be turned to Terra Water. So what I'm doing is we're getting 100% accuracy on our Bleatwing Storm. Good. Then we've got the Weather Ball, which is going to be 100 base power uh, Terra Water in the rain. So they're really like working well together. And then you've got Nasty Plot as well to even boost up even further. So you could potentially go Nasty Plot and Rain Dance. Or you could have a Pelipper to support you with Driz uh, with its uh, uh, Drizzle ability, so you can get rid of Rain Dance then, and you can open yourself up to having Tailwind. Or you could have another spread move there, like Focus Blast, or you know something to get around some counters. Or you could have Grass Knot. That's not too bad either. You get, that's that's that does get a lot of special. You got Sludge Wave. You got quite a few options there. Not Heat. Uh, not Heat Wave. Uh, you've also got Icy Wind too, so you could potentially have that uh, too. So there's a lot of different things that you could essentially do there. So you could have like, or you could have the Pelipper set up Tailwind. Like that would be great. You could have like Pelipper. Hear me out on this one. So like, okay. So we had like the Pelipper. Pelipper sets up the Tailwind, yeah? And then you've got your, you've got these both out at the same time. So you've got the Tailwind going, and this would have Damp Rock as well. I don't know if I've done it. I might do a Pelipper Guard next, because obviously it's a very used Pokemon. So uh, we got Bleeding Storm, and then we got Weather Ball going, and just for coverage. So that, that gives you coverage against a lot of things. You're weak to Rock and things like that. So Weather Ball, would you be out here like Rock types and things like that? I would go Focus Blast, because that gives you good um, coverage against Steel types, Ice types. Uh, Electric types, you can still hit with a Weather Ball. Um, does it, does it get Earth Power? No, it doesn't get Earth Power. Okay, yeah. So that would be another option there. But that's pretty much it for Tornadus. I hope you enjoyed my guide today. You found it uh, interesting and uh, you like some of those uh, meme sets. Ultimately, this Pokemon, especially Tornadus, um, it's a normal form of Prankster, is going to be a great Tailwind setter and support for the team. 
And yeah, that, that, it does its role very, very well in doubles and uh, and singles as well. Hope you enjoy this, guy, people. If you do want to see some other other Pokemon done that I haven't covered before, just check the playlist out or just type in YouTube like Pimp Knight Tornado's Guide or Moveset Guide or something like that. That should come up. And yeah, if you want me to cover anything, put it below in the comment section. If you liked it, it helped you out, got you thinking, drop a like on the video, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.